I'm the Activities and Community Engagement Manager for Team Talk in Harwich. We run a weekly gardening session for 17 to 25 year olds um, at the Parkston Welfare Park. Um, however, through the coronavirus outbreak, we haven't been able to um, go down to the garden. So our plan is to do some online gardening sessions that anyone of any age can join in with. So please feel free to comment and give us advice um, because it's all really useful and our young people can learn from you as well. Um, so today I've got a few little activities planned. So today I'm going to show you how to plant some uh, gladiola which are um, really tall flowers. And And um, I've just created a new pond area for wildlife in my um, garden. So what I'm hoping is that they'll be nice and tall to go around the pond. Um, so I'm going to try two different techniques today and then I can show you the progress over the next um, couple of months to see how they grow. Um, so one idea that I'm going to try is um, growing all the bulbs straight um, to see that they grow at the same level. Also the next technique I'm going to try is putting the bulbs in at different levels um, and then they'll sprout up at different times. Um, it, what's really nice about gardening is it's all trial and error and seeing what works and what doesn't work that we can have a go at doing and seeing um, what the progress is and you'll be able to watch as well. Um, so how I started is I'm going to use these big pots um, to start off and up it some stones um, and different bits in the bottom and what this does is it helps with the drainage um, so it stops um, it getting waterlogged that kind of thing. Um, so I'm just using some just normal peat free compost um, and I'm just going to fill this up. So I've just filled this up to um, just this line here um, and what I'm now going to do is probably plant about uh, seven bulbs in here and see how they do. Um, so um, with these bulbs they kind of look a little bit like mini onions and um, this bit uh, with the root stem goes at the bottom and then they have like a little stem bit that goes at the top um, and what you do is you plant them um, with the root bit down first so they can just go down like that and again see so this little round bit that one's a bit of a better bit goes at the bottom and that bit goes at the top um, so I'm putting these about um, three centimetres in the soil. So just put one in there. Okay, now the next part is that we need to make sure that it's watered um, and this will kind of kick start them to grow. So I'm gonna put quite a bit of water on them. Um, to start that off um, and now um, what I'm going to do is try in the ne next one is to do like different layers and um, so that they grow at different times you can also um, plant these from um, kind of mid spring to the end of spring so you can grow them at different times um, and then that means that you'll have more for longer and um, because they can grow for a longer period of time and um, so every couple of weeks you could try growing some more um, and they'll last longer and they're really nice because you can cut them down and have them as um, decorations at your house or they are um, quite nice as a gift so um, as well because they're really pretty and um, so I'm just going to move on to a different pot And 
give this one a go. So with this part, as you can see, I've left it a bit lower. So what I'm going to do is put copper bulbs in here and then put some more um, soil on and then um, put another layer and then another layer. So what they will do is then grow at different speeds. Um, so the ones higher up you'll see first and the ones lower down um, they will come up later. So I'm going to put um, maybe like two on each layer and then rotate them around so that um, they're at different bits. So there's two in that bit. And then I'm going to put another two each side. Another two, maybe like here, so that there. And then I'm going to do one more layer, um, and that way will be done. You can also grow these in straight into the ground as well, um, as well as pots, but because um, I wanted these to go around my pond area, um, I thought they could be good to grow in pots, um, but later we could also try um, growing some bulbs in, the, in some ground as well, um, and I can show you how to do that as well. So we'll give those water, um, they'll probably need some more water, but um, I'll fill up the watering can and we can do that. And now all what's left is to go and place those in the garden um, and give them to Next part of today's session is that um, I've been trying to find kind of different ways that we can recycle stuff through the coronavirus outbreak and actually you can carry it on after. So what I've been doing is um, using um, dog food cans and cat cans to make into planters um, so I'll show you a picture of those um, and I've been doing chives at the moment but what I wanted to do is try some different herbs and see how they work um, so I'm going to try some cress, some garden cress and some basil and then plant those in tea, um, tins and see how they go um, again it's another trial and error um, thing so um, what I've done is I've just taken some compost and put those into these little planters like this um, and I'm going to take some seeds so this is some garden cress and just put a couple of seeds in each so as you can see the seeds are really really tiny um, and Um, and then what I'm going to do is put these into my greenhouse um, until they grow um, a little bit and then um, place them into the tins outside um, once they get a bit bigger um, and we'll see how they grow out there. Um, so that's, that's those all on there and I'm just going to put a little bit of soil to just a tiny little layer over the top. Just like this. 
and then just give them a little water. And then the next one I'm going to try and do some basil in these. Um, just if you're making and um, preparing lots of herbs and stuff, it's a um, good idea to label which ones you planted. Um, otherwise it might get com quite confusing. Um, so I use like little bamboo labels um, to label mine. So, so um, basil seeds are like these black seeds. Um, so that's what I put into this one. And then what I'm just going to do is put another little layer on top, just a tiny little layer, like not too much. And then give these a water as well. And allow them time to grow. Um, and then what they'll do is they'll grow into like little um, bits that then I can transfer into pots. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you what I've done with the chives um, and then hopefully this is something we can do later on. Questions that you'd like to ask me then please um, put those on below. I hope you've enjoyed today's session and we'll be back next Friday for another session. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to um, know about or anything um, that you're interested in growing and you'd like me to show you a demonstration then please let me know and I will try my best to arrange that for you. Thank you.